Hey, hello there. Uh, now I'm looking at a potential follow-up to the question 206 reverse linked list. It's a uh, 92 reverse linked list two. Uh, so instead of uh, doing the whole linked list reversal as the previous uh, question, now we are given a starting position and end position. All we want to do is to only reverse the linked list in that uh, range. So obviously if um, the, the approach is going to be in a couple of steps. One, one is to move to the starting point. Two is to reverse the uh, section. Then third is to make sure the, uh, the, re, you know, the rewiring is, is OK. So uh, using this example here, and our initial state is looking like this. Um, to move to the starting point, uh, um, notice that uh, this linked list uh, pretty much uh, one indexed. So this node one is actually the the first node there. So when we're looking at M node, it's uh, indeed the, the M node in, inside this linked list. Uh, so let's just say that uh, M equal to two here, we basically want to get to here. Have our traversal pointer, in, pointer points to this node two here. Uh, then we do the reversal. Uh, so we basically just gonna have a while loop uh, um, or for loop, whatever, uh, that counts down to exactly the difference between M and A. So um, we want to reverse that how, that many links. So let's say that, uh, just taking this as an example, uh, we notice that in the final state here, we basically change the two points to three, three points to four, to four points to three, three points to two. So in the reverse, in the section part, uh, we need to reverse uh, m subtract by m exactly this number of uh, um, of uh, pointers internally within the section. Uh, so that would make this uh, to be something like. Uh, here and uh, uh, and potentially we'll be able to, uh, we'll need to cut off this link here um, from one and uh, four four to five so we need to make sure that uh, we have some uh, pointing pointers points to those uh, very important locations um, so just call it uh, grab some uh, reference uh, pointers. Uh, obviously, we will want to have the have this. We, we need, want to memorize this node one here. Uh, this is going to be the last node of the section that's prior to uh, reversal. The importance of that is uh, after we do the rewiring in the middle, we need to have this uh, last nodes point to the new new head. Uh, so uh, th this node here will be become the previous pointer. So to the third step that uh, making sure everything is rewired correctly, we will ask a last two points to this previous, and so that it's one to four, and we will want to have node two to points to uh, node five. Um, so after we do the reversal, uh, there is gonna be a next pointer points to five, or, or the traversal, traversal pointer points to five. Um, yeah, I know it's a little bit confusing. If you uh, have no idea about uh, how this two a few um, variable naming is working, um, maybe checking this uh, this video here, uh, my video about the 206. Yeah, I, sh I should make this uh, two in, in one video actually. 
anyway anyway so um yeah so that's that is pretty much uh, it um just gonna do this in two s three sections one is to uh, move to the starting point second is to apply the reversal code on the section uh, then after that uh, we need to do some uh, final rewirings um, uh, we will have the this is gonna be the tail node right yeah because also gonna grab a pointer for this node uh, just gonna call it tail uh, this is gonna be the node uh, for the section for the reversal section uh, so this is all means that uh, after we do the reversal this node 2 will become the new tail and we would want to have the tail points to the uh, traversal node so connecting 2 to 5 uh, and 1 to 4 so that's uh, that's the third thing that we need to do after that uh, uh, we pretty much just return the original head uh, if that if that e exists one, one case that uh, the previous head can um, be problematic is that uh, if we have m equal to zero uh, meaning that uh, we're starting the reversal from the beginning we wouldn't be able to have anything like uh, the last it will be a, a null pointer um, If that's the case, we will want to return the uh, node 4, which is the previous. Otherwise, we will want to return last. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much the uh, three stages uh, of uh, applying, uh, of solving this problem. Yeah, so let's uh, get into code. Um, All right, so we need uh, some pointers. Um, what do we need? Definitely a traversal node that's starting with the head. We want to move that to the beginning of the reversal section. And uh, we also want to indicate the previous node to the traversal because it will be tagged as uh, uh, last and uh, we're going to create two aliens for the previous node and the tail node for uh, this two nodes immediately uh, th this node immediately before the section and the first node of the section uh, so let's do this traversal first the uh, the number of steps that we need to hop to the m's node is going to be um, m subtracted by 1. So as example, the, the question example, we have m equal to 2. We're starting with the head. Uh, we just move uh, 2 subtracted by 1 to, to get to the 2. So that's why I have this while loop to be m greater than 1. I'm going to decrement m uh, in there. And also something that I will also need to do, uh, I will also be doing is to decrement uh, n as well. Uh, because um, um, because in the, the in the number of nodes that I need to swap is uh, the difference between n, uh, m and n. So if I uh, decrement uh, n in the same time, um, uh, it, it will be become exactly the number I want uh, after this while loop. Uh, obviously, I could do the calculation of the difference beforehand, and uh, um, yeah. The, the, yeah, actually just do that. Now let's just call it K. So uh, we are traversal um, to move this traversal node to, to this uh, AMS node. So after there, we basically create the alias, uh, the last for the previous, the tail for the traversal. Uh, it's called tail, right? So 
so this is uh, to uh, move to the start move, move to the ems node Make sure the connection is right. That's the last step. Now the return part is just going to be um, we're going to return the head node. All right, uh, right, because the head node should be the same. Uh, the only complicated can be is that uh, if the last node is not there. But uh, if, if if we're starting with uh, the uh, m is equal to zero. Uh, so that pretty much translates to the previous node is going to be a null pointer. Um, yeah, uh, so that's that's that. Uh, Leah, let's do the uh, let's do the reversal. Uh, we first grab the next. Then have uh, have that next node points to the current reversal node. Um, no, sorry. Have have this traversal nodes points to the previous node. And then to advance the previous node to the traversal and move the traversal to the next. So that's uh, uh, how we do this uh, reversal among two nodes. We do that for exactly n times. Uh, uh, yeah, actually n minus one because when it's a zero, uh, it, it, that iteration doesn't run. So it's uh, uh, ex it, it will be exactly the difference between n and m, uh, n and m. So this will take care of the reversal of those sections. Uh, lastly, we will just uh, need to do this rewiring. Uh, look up the notes here. What, what should we do? We should have lost the points to the previous. Uh, that's when the uh, the last node does exist. It could be the case if uh, m is zero that this last is going to be the same as this uh, previous node. Initial state is going to be a null pointer. So if 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 it's not null, we will ask it to, to point to the uh, new head node for the section. Uh, yep, yeah. and we will want to have the tail nodes point to the traversal. Otherwise, here, uh, if the last node is not there, we will actually need to have the head node to be the previous node there. Um, we don't need to reassign it. Um, yeah, so this should be it. Um, yeah, so in three stages, we first move to the EMS node. Uh, we keep track of uh, the nodes that uh, immediately before this uh, reversal section because we want to have these two points to the new head. And uh, the original head of the section is going to be the new tail. Uh, so we also make an alias there. Um, am I missing any kind of uh, pointers, uh, declarations? Uh, last and tail. Oh, I'm missing the next. All right, uh, so then it's the reversal. We grab the next because we're going to lose that reference uh, if we don't grab it uh, in very early on. Then we just have this current node we're looking at. Instead of pointing to the next, I ask it to point to the previous node. So to reverse the direction and have the advance this uh, previous and traversal to their uh, next uh, and decrement the count for the number of nodes I need to do the reversal. Uh, so this while loop will take care of the reversal between M and N. Uh, after that, uh, we want to have the last, the the very last node before this uh, uh, reverse the section. We want to have it uh, points to the new head, and uh, also have the new tail of the uh, section points to the uh, the head of the remainder uh, part from this uh, original linked list. Uh, in the end, when we try to return the head node, we 
do a quick check if the uh, if if m is not zero uh, if uh, if we are starting with uh, um, if we are not starting with starting the reversal in the in the head node that that means that the last day is not no pointer um, then we return the original head otherwise we return this new head which is going to be the original tail of the reversed section yeah so that's uh, I think it's the code um, let me run it uh, nope uh, what's the problem ah, okay it's this K here right um, no still no uh, how, am I re reversing more than needed no I'm reversing uh, less than needed actually so uh, I, will, I will say this to be the K should be uh, plus one yeah this time should work okay yeah um, yeah this is tricky okay so that's uh, the this uh, follow-up question to uh, reverse linked list um, the this middle section is pretty much the original question in the iterative fashion uh, the only thing that's different is to have the um, the initial kind of a movement and also keep track of a few things and then it's the last the housekeeping kind of work uh, so nothing too difficult it just uh, need to be careful and uh, pay attention to details about the code and uh, uh, what is pointing to what at uh, what time um, yeah so that's uh, a diagram definitely helps so that's the second question today